we decided to let you guys in on our life in quarantine. So I've had a lot of time on my hands. Caught up emails, cleaned my entire house, vacuumed, dusted, <clears throat> and although it doesn't look clean, because we've been at home, <laughs> Honestly, the more you're at home, the bigger mess you make. But these are all parts of kind of keeping busy. Uh, Legos! We did this one first. Took us two days. It's a cold car. It shoots at you by turning the dial. Gonna have a hard time finding those. <laughs> uh, and now we're doing Minecraft Creeper. Yeah. Okay. She's like, I see it. Go pick it up. <laughs> She really likes her car. So we've been doing Minecraft. Uh, this is gonna take us like three days. We got up to making the characters and then she it's got a, tired. So it's supposed to be a whole eight, thing. 834 pieces. Eight? Oh, I thought it was 900. What was I looking at before? Either way, it's the biggest one we've done. It's keeping us busy. It's like doing a puzzle. Then we have Candyland. We were playing with Minecraft characters. After we built the characters, which is as far as we got, <laughs> then she's like, let's play Candyland. Candyland and let's use the character. So we were using the characters instead of the little ginger bread guys that it gives us. Uh, so yesterday. So it's a lot of art and craft. Art and craft. Yesterday I attempted to make a llama pot from Play-Doh. Um, this was on Instagram. <laughs> we were showing it on Instagram. So be sure to follow me there. You can also laugh at all the stuff we do. Uh, didn't quite come out the way I wanted, but he likes it. I gotta paint it. Started like once it started drying, it came apart from where like it didn't look like this, but I don't know. So that's something we did. <laughs> uh, we are planning. I don't know. Are we doing this during our quarantine life? Probably. I don't know. So we got this big old canvas for that room. We've done all the art on our walls. So if you see any art on our walls, it's either done by Lila or by us. This was a combination of all of us. Lila did the arrowhead. And you see the little smudge mark there? Just, everything about it was just so perfect. I'm like, leave the smudge. I love it. Um, yeah, so we did this. I felt a personal connection to it. That's why I like putting it on the walls. If there's no like personal touch, then chances are it's not gonna last on our walls. So that's what we wanna do here. Should we show up? Yeah. Should we let you guys help us decide? Because I'm really conflicted here. I'm the type that like, I like structure. I like things like that where it's like, it's planned out um, art. Whereas he's more, <laughs> you know, like he's the art type of person that loves smudges and, and color. I don't even know how to, ex I'm going to stop because I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to explain. But anyways, he did this one. I envision more emerald green with gold and texture and shine um, and a bit cleaner because this wall that we want to put it on is our darkest wall in the house. It's because we have this big old block here that's hiding the windows in there that shine up our whole house. And then obviously once the sun is here, it's not shining on this wall. So um, whatever we put on this wall Lila gets darker. Did Lila, Lila did this one. She really wants us to put it on the wall. <laughs> like doesn't really work with what we want, but uh, I'll find a way to incorporate it somehow. Um, so right now we're conflicted between this or this style. Both of them need tweaking. But I said that one and that one combined. That seems too messy to me. I love the cleanness. And I feel like if you combine both, it's just like, whoa, you threw up on it. No? No, not too much. I, I don't know. See, this is why it's going to take us a long time. Usually we, so when we decide on a project... Time. We sit on it for like six months and then I don't know where it gets done in a day. So, Comment below, what do you guys think? I also wanted to do more leaf kind of work um, and feathers, but he said no, so I'll save that for the office because we are redoing our office and I'm gonna do gold and navy blue painting and I have 100% say in it. <laughs> uh, you laugh. <laughs> like, hmm, okay, you, well then. You are the one who's sending me to the store again all this stuff. <laughs> I know. I like was sending him photos and things. Get this paint. Match it to the photo. While I was in quarantine. Because I haven't left the house and Lila hasn't left the house in a week now, right? Yeah, yes. Maybe that's why she got emotional. <laughs> she got really emotional. Like, like, I think I just need to get her out, but maybe in the backyard or something. Anyways, you brought home this Yeah, plant. I sent you a photo of it and you don't respond to me. 
I know, I blasted it on Instagram. I was so excited, I just put it on Instagram. Like, look what I'm getting. And he's like, do you even want it? <laughs> but yes, no, I, I have had three in the past. Let's turn off the oven, that's the noise you're hearing. Um, I've had three in the past. All have died. Uh, Luna was the one to kill the first one that I had because she got to the trunk of it just like within minutes. Within minutes, we took our eyes off of her and it was demolished. Um, but it's because, contrary to what it tells you, like water it when it dries out, it doesn't like that. So it dies. It dries up really quickly if it doesn't have water. So I bought another mini one as an experiment and I keep the soil moist all the time, all the time, which is not good for most plants. But in this case, I've had it for more than six months, not even one dry, it, it's gotten fuller, fatter, it just looks perfect. So I think I figured out the problem. I was listening to whatever the slip said and it was not accurate. So now I'm just gonna waterboard it because I've already tried doing it the other way and it didn't work. Anyways, what were we gonna do? The Lego. Lego, we're doing Legos. But Lila needed a little break. We have pizza cooking. We did try, I keep wanting to go through here, but it's harder for you, right? Yeah. We'll go around. <laughs> See, I cleaned, but it doesn't look like I cleaned. You just tripped over the bench. Ah, that's what that was, the bench. We have the bench right by the island because Lila helps us cook and stuff and that helps her. Anyways, we've been doing the pizza and we did take some people's um, recommendations for better pizza. Whoever said the Pittsburgh dough, ah, we love it. That was a total game changer. Lila, oh, she's in love with it. We are in love with it. So thank you for that. You cook the dough for eight minutes and then you do the pizza. Um, and yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, now, unfortunately, we did try other cheeses and that didn't go so well. So we kept everything else similar, but the dough, thanks guys. That was amazing. So, which is it? Oh. Uh, the thin crust one, but I don't roll it out as much so it's not super, super thin crust, if you get what I mean. They have a regular one too, but uh, whatever. I like this one. It's good. Tastes yummy. So we're going to eat and then we're going to do Legos. And then I want to repot some stuff. I got a Monstera that's ginormous and I love it, but because it's such a big plant with so much leaves, it's hard to put it anywhere because it takes up so much space. And um, let us know if they want to see it. Do you guys want to see me repotting? We can record that. I always got stuff to talk about while I'm repotting, so yeah. <laughs> She's like, bring me my cheese stick. Enjoy. See, I'm sure nobody believes me when I say this, but when I tell my husband I like something, he overdoes it. Because they're seasonal too, they're hard to find. No, you do this all the time. Oh, I really like those sour string thingies. Okay, babe. Oh, look, they have that too. Okay, babe. Well, I couldn't find the first ones. So I'm like, ah, they're the same. So I got you. Oh my God. You want it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should thank you. you. For one, babe. <laughs> One. They're hard to find. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god. This is, this is like a year's worth. Yeah, right? That's a week for you. No, it took me a week to eat the last one. Mm, that's okay, debatable. so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven weeks. That's Twelve de weeks. Debatable. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Are you playing Candyland with us? You gotta pick a character for Daddy too. He's playing Candyland. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, come on, me. Now, on a more serious note, uh, I've been getting a lot of emails from my clients and from other people about, you know, how do we get through this crazy time? Diet and uh, working out. Diet, honestly, I haven't changed anything. Um, I don't know. Just keep eating the same way you're eating. <laughs> There's really, there. I mean, there hasn't really been a shortage, and and you said that they have been stocking up, right? Yeah. I'm I'm sure for a few days when everyone like freaked out and bought everything, like yeah, but they they restocked the shelves well, and everything, so it shouldn't really be that. Most probably the same as protein, you know? like the whole chicken. Lab, that it lab. like they sold out of meat right away. Yeah, but There's, then I go Niles and I see a lot of tuna. The smartest thing, rice, beans, tuna. 
because you can store it for quite a while and it's plentiful and beans have so much nutrients and it's got your protein in there um, and then of course they have rice you know so those were the three things I'm like can you just pick up more rice beans and <laughs> Like that, we could live off of that. I used to just eat a rice bean bowl with some salsa verde and some cheese. And I think that it's getting better because now there's tortillas. Because <laughs> now there's tortillas. Yeah. We're fine because now there's tortillas. Yes. So diet shouldn't really change. I mean, I don't know where you are. Maybe it's changing for other people more than a, for some people more than others. Uh, but I haven't felt any difference there. Yes. Maybe creeper than pick. Okay, Daddy will pick one of those. You're gonna be creeper. Um, as far as working out, uh, people have been saying, do you have like a video uh, specifying which equipment is best for home workouts? Yes, I do. Yeah, we did it like a year ago. But yeah, I go into detail. Uh, low budget, not enough, not a lot of space, or if you want to be a serious um, home gym person uh, so it's got it's got everything in there what I started with what I found to be the most useful what ended up being garbage to me and not useful watch that video I will link it put it on Instagram too if that's where you only you probably put in the comments so that way they can click you want me to put it in the comments yeah. all right I'll comment it'll be the top comment um, and you can watch that video super thorough I hope ask questions on it and I'll try to answer as much as I can um, but yeah let's play you're a creeper. Who am I? Can I be the cow? No, Daddy Pig. Daddy's gonna be the cow. No, cook my Daddy Pig. What is? He has to pick an animal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm the guy. Yeah. With the two. Is that fire? Yeah. All right. I'm a badass. Daddy, you wanna be a cow, a fox, or a wolf? Fox. Daddy wants to be the fox. Okay. Here. Fox. Oh my gosh. All right, so it's actually the next day. We're gonna do a little bit of repotting. I have a lot of my propagated plants that are ready to be put in this. soil. Yeah, we did show a video. Long time ago. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't even realize how much, look at how long these are, babe. Do you see that? Yeah, this one's that big. Yeah, they're definitely ready to get put into soil. So we're gonna do that, cause hey, it's spring, y'all. I've been waiting for that. Lots of repotting happening. Uh, so we were putting behind them, right? Well, I was Over putting here. it here because when you're propagating you don't quite want it to have too much Sun Kind of want to tuck it away in a corner. <laughs> Let it do its thing. Don't keep bugging it um, And yeah, that's what you'll get. This one hasn't even been that long, but look at look at those roots Do you see that? It's insane. I Like this one the fire sticks um, during summer the tips all turn red that's hence the reason why they're called fire sticks. Anyway, so we're gonna do that. It's it's been tough. I told you guys that we've been in for like a week, and I'm not feeling. I don't think I'm feeling bad, but it is like really bad. Like I don't know. She's been acting kind of strange. So we're trying to constantly do things and keep her entertained. Do you really think it's like not leaving the house or? Yeah. You think she's bored? bored? Yeah. But when we leave, we don't do that interesting things. We go to the store. It's a different scenario. I guess. I don't know. We're trying to keep busy, play a little music in the background, then shut it off because too much music drives her crazy, too. Oh, I feel for all my parents. Like, I thought it was not going to be much different because she's homeschooled, so it's like I already have to deal with her. But not leaving the house. It's even insane, I guess. So we might just drive around or something. I know. I swear. I'm about ready to just put her in the car and drive her somewhere. Cause sometimes she doesn't even get out of the car. This is why I can't like understand why is her life being so shaken right now. Like sometimes when he takes us to the store, we stay in the car. Yeah. I don't know. She's <laughs> acting, acting weird. Very sad, emotional. He went to the store. She just burst out crying. I miss daddy. I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> we have, we have <laughs> yeah. I was like, you, you never do that. So. We have a clip for that. It was a pretty heartbreaking clip. What's wrong? You miss daddy? Yeah. You want him to come home? Yeah. Okay, I'll call him and tell him to come home. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, very heartbreaking. That hurt me on so many levels. And I was going to send it to him, but I was like, he's going to get so... Because you get anxiety when you leave the house. And I'm like, oh, this will break his heart. So I'm not even going to tell him about it till he comes home. But yeah, that was, that was harsh. It was, it's two days now. So like, I don't know. We're just trying to keep busy. What are you guys doing? 
what is helping you guys kids stay I guess normal <laughs> or like themselves share below because we'll take any ideas we're constantly trying to do things you're gonna have a week out with us yes she's gonna everything we do we're involving her like hey, let's do it pump her up that backfired though we got her pumped up and I don't know if she had expectations in her head and then that just I, I don't know it's like what a, what do you do as a parent everything that, seems so nice. wrong Last night we said we were going to do nothing. Yeah, the night before, we had planned it out, and she woke up excited, and we told her she had to eat first, so she would wake up, then she's like, okay, I'm going to eat, and then we're going to do the the Lego thing, and she was so pumped, and then from there, that's when the crying happened, the video, and I was just like, I mean, she's never done this before, what's going on? I'm like, I don't understand this, uh, and I think we worked her up maybe too much, so then last night, I'm like, we're not doing anything tomorrow, so that whatever we do is a highlight didn't change the outcome it was still pretty bad so um share with us what you guys are doing so we'll end this vlog but we are starting a new one i don't know when we'll get it off hopefully soon repotting so if you want to see that and whatever else we do to entertain ourselves stay tuned we'll be posting Where again we yes i do have my setup odd setup there um ignore my mess too but yeah we'll be here we'll be here and doing stuff so yeah stay tuned if you like the video hashtag love so I know you love it be sure to like the video be sure to be subscribed hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time we post a video and until next time bye guys